This is part two of Texas. We laid a lot of stuff down in part one, but that was only a day and a half of hunting. Man, we're here for three or four days. Another perfect job from the Belmore Management Firm. <laughs> I like that. Firm. Here we go, here we go. Hunting Habit is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops, Mossy Oak, Loopold Optics, Rage Broadheads, Muzzy Bow Fishing, Avian X, Tracker Boats, Winchester Ammunition and nocturnal lighted knocks. It's dead on, about an inch to the right. We got her dialed in. Something's getting popped with the legend tonight. We got a new spot here, and Troy's gonna go clearing some brush for us. You know, most time you just take a limb saw up there, <laughs> destroy. I just ask him to do it. He's just looking for a reason to run over something. Oh, this is this is great right here. I swear. Oh, Amy, it's just really—he's trying to sabotage us, ain't he? That's what he does. It's, he's, <laughs> that's like the tenth circle Troy's made. That time he put out a bag of corn. He gave me a booby trap chair. I just about broke my spleen when I fell out of it into the thorn bushes. But the good news is we got an hour and a half till dark, so now well, we got two hours, so it's gonna be good. We're gonna make it happen. We got Amy with us tonight. Troy's pawned us off on everybody else, but everybody else has went home, so now we finally got the good guy. <laughs> so now all we gotta do is kill something really big and we can put it in Troy's face. <laughs> they just can't resist the sound of that feeder going off out here, Texas. And it's like pitter patter. I love it. If you can't give these deer nothing else, you can give them, they are consistent. Oh, you know I can't resist a big nanny doe. The evening's kind of slow, you know, we see a few bucks fighting. But we got one big doe, so we're on to the next one. See her drop out of the scope. She went straight down, didn't she? Another perfect job from the Belmore, Belmore, and Belmore management firm. Hit me up. I'll tell you, the cool thing about out here is that you know you go hunt a lot of places, and it's a lot of work. This out here, a lot of killing. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, look, putting up with y'all. This, this, hey, this, this is what we're saying though. O three hundred just wrapped her around the feeder. Ain't no shame in my game. It's like a car wreck wrapped around a telephone pole right here. Twinkle toes. Whew, that's tragic. God. That's a big old doe though for out here. Ain't it, Troy? You good, son? 
She got some age on her. Hey, she ain't getting no older, son. No. A lot of people have done got on the wrong track in this deer hunting thing. They're worried to death about how big it is and how much it scores. And you know what I worry about? I want to see something that I get to shoot. If it's legal, I'm busting a cap. We drive over to Canyon to check on Preston and Troy, and lo and behold, there's a nice eight point down there. So apparently, our management firm now has partners. We're networking out here in Texas. We can bring it to you if you want it. You just let me know. Being in the level of upper management that I am, I'm gonna delegate this position to Troy and let him take this deer. I'll be honest with you. We've shot so much stuff in the last couple of days, I'm tired of cleaning them. And he has been helping, but if he'll start shooting some stuff, I can get his knife going and uh, take a little load off me. Oh, son. We're gonna give Troy an A plus on his TPO reports for his performance here. So uh, I guess what he, he's got the job. That's a good shot. Thank you, thank you. Makes three bucks, three dough. Yeah. yeah. I got some, some more on the more tickets to punch. So, so I guess basically I'm the assistant manager and you're the wow. manager. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna go that far. I mean, I don't I'm even a, think I'm the manager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the assistant, assistant manager. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get more down. Bad part is now we got to make the Baja 3000 down in the canyon again, but it's worth it. Last morning's getting a little bit slow, starting to heat up. We just see a few deer, so we decided to switch gears. It's a slow morning this morning. It's weird. Deer been running like crazy whole week. This morning they've kind of just slowed up. So we bailed out early. Now we're gonna go try to shoot some foxes. This place is crawling with them. Everywhere you go, there's fox crap on everything. So we're gonna hit these water tanks if we can't shoot one. Look, this is how you hide in West Texas right here. We need a little bit of elevation, so we're just gonna hunt out of the Jeep. Check out the blind. I got it. Yes. All That's, That's all Matt's mouth calling. I like it. I like it. I really didn't have faith in that. I didn't think it was going to work. Matt, you put the mouth call on me. We cut the call off and Matt come in. Championship mouth caller. West Texas. That's I told, awesome. I told you I'm no uh, predator hunter. I'm the predator. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I would have never thought you could sit in the broad daylight and call one in and then circle upwind. That fox need to get it. He's stupid. We brought a 350 legend out here this week and we shot deer, javelina, and now we're shooting foxes. So it works for everything. I can see the hole in this dude. It's pretty tragic. Man, look how pretty this fox is. I don't think I could have made a better shot on him. I'll be honest with you. Look at that. Right in the shoulder. Dude, that thing is beautiful. That's a big old gray fox. That is awesome. I don't think there's a hair out of place on him except for the backside. Man, they're pretty. Texas never lets you down. I don't care if you're hunting hogs, deer, turkey, whatever. This place is unreal. Thanks to the Allisons for having us out. This place is unreal, and I can't wait to come back next year.